Hey, I'm back with a very short video. I like to keep things short and sweet. Let's talk about allergies and the three things that you can do right now to reduce your allergy symptoms. Now, there's something called T regulatory cells. It's part of your immune system. T regs, they're called for short. What they do is they control the development of autoimmune conditions as well as preventing the development of allergies, okay? Hypersensitivities. And there are three things that can strengthen the T regulatory cells. First thing is probiotics. Now, anytime you take a probiotic, always take a very small amount in the very beginning because sometimes it can stir up an immune reaction. So whatever it says to do on the dosage, just cut it back. If it's in a liquid, take just maybe a half a teaspoon, take it right before you go to bed. Because one of the things it can do initially is increase histamines, which are gonna make you tired. So if you have a little bit of this probiotic that's introduced to your body in a, in a new unit of time, sometimes that reaction can make you a little bit more tired and actually you'll sleep a little bit better. So you take some, see how you respond, take a little bit more, take a little bit more until you get to the correct dosage. But probiotics can help reduce allergy symptoms because they improve the T regulatory cells. Number two, this is very powerful, fasting. Doing intermittent fasting on a regular basis and periodic prolonged fasting. There's been a lot of reports of people doing fasting over a period of time and then all of a sudden no longer having allergies. That's both for food allergies as well as environmental. I'm gonna put some links down below on all of these things right here. Now. Vitamin D, vitamin D very strongly helps the T regulatory cells work better. I would recommend taking minimally 10,000 IUs per day, but it'd be probably better to take 20,000 IUs per day. And you can actually see after a couple of weeks, you'll notice less allergies. Also, vitamin D is really good for asthma as well. Anyway, that was a quick video. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.